YouTube, it's Joe Gas here, and today I decided to make another iPhone SDK tutorial for you guys today. But this is unlike any iPhone SDK tutorial that's possibly out there. What we're going to be making today is a table view that you could edit and add rows to, and when you delete or make a new one and quit the app and relaunch it, it will remember what you last did. So it's basically archiving application data, and you could plug this method in into any object you want, not only a table view. And what it's going to be looking like is something like this. So, wrong iPhone simulator, sorry about that. Um, let's try this one. Alright, this is the right one. So it's going to be something like this. Open that up. I, could, I can delete all these tables. I could also delete it by just swiping. I can make a new one, say I want to name it Joe Gas. Bam, Joe Gas. Click the app, open it back up, saves exactly what I did. And we're going to be doing that today, and this is probably going to be in many parts, so just bear with me. Alright, so what we want to do is go into Xcode, and I'm going to make a new Xcode project. By the way, I'm on Xcode 3.2.1, but that doesn't make a difference. Create a Windows-based application, and what I'm going to name it is I'm just gonna probably name it table archive it's basically what it does so the first thing we want to do is build our interface guys by opening up the main window dot xib and just wait for interface builder to load up alright so what I'm gonna do is drag in a navigation bar I'm just gonna name it um, table table view I'm going to add two buttons, an add button, and we could go by the identifier and make that add. Another button called edit, I'm just going to go to the identifier and make that edit. All right, now what we want to do is basically go to our data views and drag in a table view. Then we want to go into our inputs and values and drag in a text field right on the area that it's draggable at. And I'm going to make the placeholder text in that um, type. No, it's just going to be table cell name, dot, dot, dot. So basically, they get the point, and then the text in it is just going to be table cell. So when they make a default one. And this is basically our interface. There's really nothing more we need to do. File, save, and command H to hide that for now. So we're going to go into our classes and just go into our app delegate.h. And for archiving data, you're going to need, you can only implement this into the delegate. So that's why I decided to make it like this. So right under here, I'm just going to add an ILB outlet for our text field. And what I'm going to name that is, I'm going to name that table cell text. Close that with a semicolon. Next, we want to add a couple actions and an NS string. Right under this method right here, I'm going to add an IB action. And it is going to be called add row to table view. I'm going to make another IB action. That one's going to be called edit table, which is basically going to be dragged to the edit button. Next one, I'm going to name this data file path which is the data for the application. And this one, which is actually going to be another IB action, and this is just going to say end text. That's going to be the done button for the text field. And we want to make this an NS, NS um, string. Sorry about that, guys. And we want to make a little star. All right. Now I misspelled that right there. And we're basically good, so let's press Command-V and we're building our interface. So now open up our interface builder and click on our application delegate. Go to our connections, drag table cell text to the text field, add row to table view to the add button, edit table to that, and end text to this, and we want to press did end on exit. So, and then we want to select this and also make the um, return key say done. Okay, so we're basically good here for now. 
And now what we want to do is Command Save, Command S, and Command H. And now we're basically, oh, one more thing, guys, most important thing. Press Control, drag this to our application delegate, and click Data Source. That has to be the most important thing we could ever do, all right? So then save it, and, and then hide it. So then, right under here, we want to also add an NS um, mutable array. So NS mutable array, and we're going to name this data. That is going to be the core data for our application, guys. All right, so now what we're going to do is basically put these actions into the .m. So right under our did finish launching method, I'm going to put that in and put in the end text method in as well. Delete all these. Oh, whoa. Definitely wrong button. Sometimes I press crazy buttons. And <laughs> I'm just going to put some brackets in here. And now we're good. So in the add row to table view, we want to put this following code. And we want to put data. Well, first we want to build, okay? Because we want it to remember. So data. And we got that error, but don't worry. Add object. And this is basically our object. And what this is going to be is just, we can make it at quotes. But we want to make it whatever the person types in. So that is, um, what do we name that outlet again, guys? Um, I think that was table cell text. Sorry about that. Table cell text dot text. And then close that semicolon. Then make a new one. Main table view, which we forgot to plug in as well. Which, we're not going to do this part right now, guys. So we're just going to build that as far as we know. And go back to that. Then in, leave end text with nothing there. But in the edit table, we're going to keep that the same as well. Now we want to move into our application delegate. And in these brackets is where we're going to put all the code to remember everything. So we want to do NS array. And then I'm just going to name this archive array because it's on HR archive da data array space equals space and then we want to put NS key um, key keyed actually on archiver on archive object hold on with file let me slide right here. And then what we want to put here is we just want to make it the self. So we want to put self data file path, semicolon. Then we want to do this. If archive array space equals equals space nil. So basically, if the data equals nothing, then right in here, do the following. And we also want to close this twice, which I'm very sorry I forgot to mention. So... So now, let's do this. And what we want to do, if the data is empty, we want to put this code. So data, space equals space, open bracket twice. And we just want to do NS mutable array. Alloc that and initialize that, guys. So now, we want to also add something else, which is actually else. <laughs> else and then our statements are in there so that is going to be data space equals space ns mutable array i lock that in it initialize it with an array and that is just going to be archived array that is a lot i'm sorry for that guys and that's basically that for this tutorial so Go to part two right now. It's going to be in the video description, and I'll uh, see you next time. All right, guys, subscribe and stay tuned.